Good afternoon, Steel fans and Bachelor Nation. We're here with another episode of Bachelor with Adam Fantilli. It's a little chilly today. It's minus 12 degrees Celsius, so I'm wearing some mittens today. Our guest today is equipment manager Parker Hoffman. How you doing, Parker? Great. Thanks for having me, Adam. Of course. All right, Parker. So first group date was this week, and uh, Hillary Duff made an appearance. How would you feel about the date? Um, I honestly was not a fan of the date. It felt like Hillary was just kind of trying to promote her new show and have somebody work for her. Cassidy uh, was, was, was taking him away, taking him away twice. What do you think about that? You know what? I kind of respect it. You know, you have the famous quote that I think you should say about Cassidy. Should. I'm not here to build a dollhouse. I'm here to build a relationship. She's, she's spot on, though. She is there to build a relationship, not build a dollhouse for Hillary. Absolutely. First one-on-one -on -one date, Clayton and Susie, they, they take a helicopter ride, land on a yacht, end up in a hot tub. It's, it, it, was pretty, it was pretty wild. How do you think Clayton will ever top that outside of Bachelor World? Uh, I don't think it can be topped, but I, I, that's not something you see every day. No, I think that was probably one of the best one-on-one -on -one dates we've seen in a long time on Bachelor. Absolutely. Would you think that Susie is now the front runner after that? A hundred percent. I don't think anybody else is going to get a date of that sort. Amanda Jordan with with a beautiful serenade on their on their first dance. What did you What did you think of that, man? That that was beautiful. We forgot to mention they saw the bachelor mansion from the helicopter. Um, so you know that did stir up some some feelings there, didn't it? That did stir a lot of feelings. So I think that was just a good soothing song to end the night. So this week, Shanae was a little ball of fire. She she had some pretty outlandish things to say to, to Elizabeth. What did you think first off of, of her pushing her down on that on that race? Unnecessary, but in a race like that, I maybe necessary. Um, for someone that gives himself the nickname Shanae, like I, I don't think you can do that. Then then Shanae brings up a bunch of drama with Elizabeth, trying to call her two faced. How do you think the girls handled it? I think there's still a lot there. I think it's going to carry into next week. Um, it's just one of those where we just have to wait and see. Clayton asks if he can make history and be the first person to, to ever take a rose away. Sierra's the one to break the news to him about, about Cassidy having a side piece back home, FaceTiming during the show. I think that would be pretty cool to see a rose taken back, you know, make some history with the show. You should do, do you think she deserves to not have that rose? Yeah, I mean, especially if she's, like, bragging to the other girls about having somebody back home. Like, if it's something, if, like, they find it, but if she's telling people about it, that's the that's the problem. So, like, what are, you, what are you really there for, you know? That's what he's always asking. Are you here for the right reason? Do you think Sierra had, like, sass when she went back up to her and was like, yo, I told him. That was full on just, I did it. You're in one. I'm in your kitchen, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm in your kitchen. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for week two of Bachelor with Adam Fantilli. Join us next week to see if Clayton makes history. Thank you so much for joining us this week, Parker. Thank you for having me, Adam. It's always a pleasure. Of course.